コレイ森をパトロールするよあわかりましたディナリ師匠今のは一体 Hey, what's going on guys? This is 12th Harbinger and welcome back to my channel. According to the recent leaks, Kale will be given as a free character in 3.0, so I thought I should make a pre-release build guide for her, so that you can start preparing for her. For her preparation the biggest challenge will be the Dendro Damage Bonus Goblet. So I will be covering the weapons and artifacts that will be best on her, her team comps, and we'll also briefly go over her constellations, and we'll tell you which one is the best to have. However, I won't be showing any images of the leaks. We still don't know how strong the Dendro reactions will be, or if Kale will be the one to mostly trigger the reactions, so I'm not sure whether stacking elemental mastery would do any good for her. So I will be giving a general sub-DPS guide for Kale. For her weapons, I think the best weapon to have on her will be Elegy for the end, as her burst will deal continuous off-field damage which will trigger the passive of Elegy and give buff to all the party members. This bow will further increase Kale's elemental mastery which in turn will increase her reaction damage. Other 5-star weapons including the upcoming 5-star bow are also great on her for maximizing Kale's raw damage. Also there's a passive of Kale that deals damage equal to 40% of her attack if you trigger a Dendro elemental reaction during her elemental skill. So Amo's bow which gives a ton of attack is also an excellent choice for her. Moving on to 4-star options, Stringless could be a great option for her as it gives elemental skill and burst damage bonus along with elemental mastery substat which could be good for her. Favonius Warbow is a good option for her as she will provide the whole team with energy, and her burst cost is also 60 which is kinda decent, but not too great. Sacrificial Bow is also a decent option as it will let you use her elemental skill twice, but the white energy from Favonius is better if you are using her with DPS of other elements. Other options for maximizing Kale's raw damage are Alley Hunter, Moon's Moon, Prototype Crescent, Viridescent Hunter the Blackcliff Warbow. Regarding her artifact choices, there will soon be a new support set in 3.0 that works well with Dendro DPS characters because it only reduces the Dendro resistance. This will be her best set with other Dendro characters. This set will also be excellent for enhancing Kale's own damage and raising the damage of reactions that deal Dendro damage. With DPS characters from other elements, her best option will be 4-piece Noblesse for buffing your whole team. If you already have a Noblesse set user, you can use either of them with the instructor set to increase the team's elemental mastery. Or use offensive sets like 2-piece Dendro Damage Bonus, 2-piece any set that gives attack bonus or 2-piece Wanderer's set for extra elemental mastery, you can mix and use any of these sets. For her artifact stats, as I mentioned earlier we still don't know whether stacking elemental mastery would be good on her. For sub-DPS build, Dendro damage bonus or attack percent on Goblet. Since most of us won't be lucky enough to get Dendro damage bonus Goblet as soon as patch 3.0 is released, so using attack percent Goblet will also be good on her. Also with the passive that I mentioned earlier, attack percent is a pretty strong stat on her. For circlet, crit rate or damage, and for the sands, attack percent or energy recharge depending on her stats. We still don't know how many particles she can generate and can't give the exact energy recharge you will need. But if she is the only Dendro in team, I think around 160 to 180 energy recharge should be enough. The amount could get more or less depending on her particle generation and also the bow you use on her. For substats, first try to obtain the required amount of energy recharge for her, then prioritize crit stats followed by attack percent and elemental mastery. For her constellations, as of now all her constellations look very strong. Her sixth constellation will give extra damage, fourth one will increase the elemental mastery of all the party members, excluding Kale herself, second one will modify her passive that I mentioned in the weapon section by increasing its duration by 3 seconds, and the first one will increase her energy recharge by 20%. 
of course, you don't need to pull her constellations, but having C1 on her will be great and make building her much easier, as you will be able to stack more offensive stats and increase her damage. Her best ones are her fourth and the sixth constellation, but you don't need to risk your pity to pull her constellations as her C0 should be good enough. As for her teams, she will be very flexible as she can fit into any team where you will need dendro reactions. She will also be a great support for someone like Tignari, who is a dendro DPS, as Kale can use the set which will decrease the enemy's dendro resistance. Hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more Genshin Impact videos. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>